right at the boat. I mean, it's, I can't explain how nuts this is. Four casts in a row. Mitchell, swim oh, bait. There we <laughs> swim go. Swim bait, son. <laughs> as quick as you can catch them, it feels like. Fish after fish after fish up here in shallow water. Good morning. Good, good evening. morning. Which one is it? What is it? Morning or evening? What are we doing? Sundown. Sundown beat down. Sundown beat down. <laughs> you like that? Yeah. So we are back out here in the evening tonight, and we've had an incredibly, incredibly hot, calm day. Yeah. It's and been... now the wind is actually picking up, and the hope is that these fish are going to slide super, super shallow, and we're just going to lay a smack down on them. That's yeah. the plan. We're on a super clear water lake up here in northern Wisconsin. You can see bottom at a very deep depth. Yep. Makes fish it. We had all day long. We just had a, it's high skies. I mean, it's still bluebird sky here. We do have a cloud bank coming in from this direction, but um, we got some wind, which is good. we got some wind picking up too. East wind, which is east just kind of yeah. goofy too. But um, we're fishing one of these really clear lakes, and a lot of times you see when you get fish really shallow on these lakes, is a lot of times the day bite can suck, and the time to really be out here is the last hour of light, and then the first couple hours of Into, dark. Really, all night long you can catch fish, and. These fish, if you throw a crankbait at them in the middle of the day with no wind, you're gonna, how many fish are you going to catch, Mitchell? It's probably zero. <laughs> probably zero you're fish. You're not going to do it. So we got a cool presentation we're going to go tonight. We're fishing really shallow, and we're fishing a couple of different baits here. One, Rapala, Shadow Wrap right there. The other one, cool new uh, Rapala Husky Jerk color. We're going to mix up a few different colors if we need to, but... Um, these two baits generally kind of get the job done at night. And what we're going to do is, how close are we to our spot here? Getting, creeping up on it. We're creeping up. And what we're going to do here is we're basically going to get on some of these really shallow flats. I mean, two, three, four, five, six, seven feet of water. And basically cast at these fish. If we can isolate them on side imaging, great. If it's kind of a roaming nomadic thing, which it might be where we're casting on individual fish and uh, fishing them that way, we'll see. But um, we're kind of rolling up to the first spot here and it's kind of a rock ledge with some sand behind it. So Mitchell's probably gonna spot lock us down. I mean, really you pretty, almost could have just in a shortly. couple feet here. Yep. And uh, we'll start firing away and see what happens. But it is an unbelievably cool pattern. Also the best part about this pattern is as we are coming out here, put the boat in the water, the last guy put his boat on the trailer and left, which means we have a whole lake to okay. ourselves tonight for potential opportunity and chaos, yeah, Mitchell. Nothing better than that. <laughs> so stay tuned, let's get it going on. Cast some cranks up shallow for some of these nighttime walleyes in Northern Wisconsin. What's that? What a night. Yeah. Oh, oh there we go. Right there, hooked on. Get me the light. There we go, there we go. Get oh, me yeah. the light. I forgot, it's actually starting to get dark. Oh my gosh, where's the button? All right, Mitchell caught the first fish. I got the second fish, and I'm hoping it's better than Mitch's fish. I hope so. <laughs> There's just no way I have another one snagged like, like Mitch caught his. It is not a big fish, though, which means we might want to consider moving spots you know what do you think yeah usually what do i even have here mitchell oh oh it's not that walleye bad. number two <laughs> there we go and this lake has a lot of these eater sized fish and they can just be super kind of stingy tough to get to bite during the daytime hours but obviously oh here comes hook and finger mitchell here comes hook and finger trick uh, you want some players no i don't need players i don't think but uh these fish can be real tough to catch in daytime hours but a lot of times, the time to be out is right here at the end of the day. And we're going to let that guy go because we'll definitely get some bigger fish. And this might be a little bit of spot checking. We haven't done any night fishing yet this year. So it might be a little bit of try here for a little bit. If we don't see any big fish, we might move spots. So we'll see what happens. There we go. There we go. That's, that, on? One, that one smoked it. Yeah. Smoked her good? Yeah. Holy crap there, Mitchell. Man, I've lost, what, three good fish now? Yeah. Since this one's looking good, catch. huh? Yeah, it looks like it. I thought at first it was small, but it's actually looking pretty decent. I like that. really baby this thing because. Uh, yeah, just keep the rod nice and loaded. Do not want to lose another fish. Oh, he's a nice walleye, Mitchell. Oh, is it? Can you see it? Yeah, real nice one. Nice. There we go. Good oh, work. Finally. Mitchell is uh, doing the damage while I'm just casting into the ab abyss of nothing, it seems like. But if Mitchell's gonna catch them all, I'll let the guy catch them all. Yeah, hey, you know, why not? Someone's gotta come out and do it. 
That's what they cool say, way to right? fish, though, you know? What's that? Cool way, cool way to fish. Oh, my gosh. It's just, it's honestly hard to beat. As much as I love, like, fish popping jigs, this, this might top it. All right, here we go. Finally, respectable one here. So, man. Let's get still, some more. Still milking. It's crazy, man. But, yeah, I lost uh, three fish in a row now that were actually probably good size, about like that. But hopefully that streak is over tonight. I'm, I'm done with that. Fish on, Mitchell. You went on? Yep. Long ways out there. Oh man, dude, that was like, Ooh. I fired out just a cannon of a cast. Just a cannon, Mitchell. Just a cannon, this guy says. Pulled it down one time. Is it nice? It was decent, probably. And that's how shallow it is up there. And remember you're fighting these walleyes on crankbaits in shallow water, the key is just slow and so steady slow. roll. Just keep the rod loaded up. You don't need to pump or do anything like that. I'm gonna flip your headlight on and net them. So I can talk to the camera. Feels like we probably got the right something on here. Man, dude, what a fun bite, this though. This could be a good fish. Yeah, it looks like a nice one. Huh? <laughs> dude, you can see right to the bottom. <laughs> How cool is that? You flip the headlight on, it's like, oh, yeah, there's the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Well, I switched from the shadow wrap I was fishing to the, the standard gold husky jerk here and there we go nice nighttime walleye right there love it such a fun bite to fish man there's nobody out here right now and uh these fish are all over super super shallow let's sit on them and beat them up this evening we're still kind of on the first spot I just kind of working these big flats then that's about as nice as it gets right there all right, guys, we wanted to uh, kind of throw in exactly the baits we like to use, why we like to use one or the other, uh, some of the best colors we find at night, and all those little things on rigging and everything like that. And it's kind of a lot of information, so we're going to throw it right on the Walleye Now app under early spring and spring on natural lakes. And this is really where this presentation really shines, would you say, Mitchell? Absolutely, 100%. As you can see, I mean, we're just absolutely clocking under night. So if you guys want to kind of see the starting lineup, how we're rigging, all that kind of stuff, um, instead of putting in this video, we'll put it right on the Walleye Now app. Click on Let's Go Fishing, click on Early Spring or Spring and Natural Lakes, and we'll take a deep dive kind of into rigging, how we're fishing the bait, and the best baits and colors that we have this time of year. There we go, there we go. Fish on? Yeah, this seems like a nice fish too. Better oh fish? Oh my gosh, dude. Unreal. Are you backing your drag way off? Yeah, it is. What rod do you have? 7.3. Huh. Unreal, man. Oh, Mitchell, I'm on. Nice. <laughs> I'm on on the extendo paws. For some reason, this is feeling bassy, though. Man, that was a good fish. Yours felt pretty good? Yeah, it did. Oh, mine's a walleye. A lot of weight mine's on Mine's a walleye. It. You want to flip nice. my light on? Thanks. Nice. All right, guys, Ooh. we're filming totally in the dark here. And uh, trying to do the best we can. Here's a nice walleye. And we actually almost missed our double opportunity right there, Mitchell. And I'm saying these fish are in. Oh my gosh, he just about popped off right there. Just about popped off right there. But these fish are definitely, definitely up here. Look at that, another nice fish right there. Get them popped off. And hopefully you guys can kind of hear the audio okay as our play by play. Well, the lights are off before we get a light flipped on for you guys, but there we go. <laughs> nice nighttime walleye. And, you know, all this is all happening basically from a spot lock position, just to show you kind of how many fish we got back there. Such a fun bite. Such a cool way to catch them. Tough to beat them. Let's let them go. See you later, dude. Go. On? Got yep, got him. Wow, on cue. that was immediate, dude. That was immediate. That was. Oh, we got flashy light. Yeah. Decent? It's hard to say. It, yeah, actually, whoa, what is this? This might be a smallie. I thought that a couple times, too. Whoa, this is a nice fish, whatever it is. But I'll turn or my headlight off. Or he's hooked goofy, you just never know. Turn yours off. Oh, I just slid around, off? and I don't know if you guys could hear the audio bite where I was like, yeah, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it I don't bad. think that's a walleye. I mean, we are shallow water, but that's not a walleye. 
Yeah, it is. Is yeah, it? it is. I see the eyes. I can't even see right now. Watch man. this, Mitchell. Oh, it is walleye. Nice. Oh, man. I thought I was going to... Did I get two or just one? I did. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Well, wow. you know, at night, at night, is, uh, I couldn't see. You couldn't like even believe I did that, Mitchell, like, could you? <laughs> which one did I catch? <laughs> <laughs> the, the other one. <laughs> I wow. was like, so a lot of times at night this time of year, <laughs> you can't believe that just happened, can you? <laughs> a lot of times at night this time of year, when you get a female hooked, or even sometimes a male, what you'll see is, I just netted this fish, and there was probably three, four other walleyes following Mitch's walleye in. This is crazy. <laughs> when he hooked it. That's probably why he did that yeah. weird run. That's why, yeah. There we go, double dump. Yeah. We only had hooks in one fish, <laughs> but uh, that's what I'm talking about right yeah. there. Yeah, can't beat that. <laughs> <laughs> Let him go and do it again. And the crazy part is I didn't even see it happening at yeah, all. Yeah, I, so I had my headlight on. Good. There we go, right here, right at the boat. Oh Look my that. gosh, Look this guy. <laughs> and that's how shallow they are. That's ridiculous. <laughs> oh my God. You are on a roll. Four casts in a row right at the boat, too. I have, now that I've crazy. put on a swim bait, I cannot get. Literally crazy. Oh, somewhere right there, though. <laughs> My God, this thing is milking all over the boat, too. Wow. Tis the it's season. Yeah, Tis crazy. the season. Literally right at the boat. I mean, it's, I can't explain how nuts this is. Four casts in a row. Mitchell, swim oh, bait. There we <laughs> swim go. Swim bait, son. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. And you're not missing them when they chunk a swim bait. No, you're definitely right, not yeah. missing That's fish like that. on. And in the boat, probably jinxed it now. I'll probably lose them, but. Man, dude, are they chowing or what, dude? They are. Can't see this fish. I cannot see them, but I can feel them. I might them. have to net them with. Okay. Nice walleye. <laughs> and I just went to the swim bait. Oh my gosh, Mitchell, he got my Birkenstocks. Oh, not the stocks. <laughs> not the Birkenstocks. Not the Birks, man. Oh, there we go. Don't Look at that. that. And I just made that head. switch up to uh, the Arkansas Shad Tickle Shad. And that also got bit a couple casts in. And uh, man, like Mitch said, I mean, this is just like. As quick as you can catch them, it feels like fish after fish after fish up here at shallow water. Too much fun, and nobody around to see us doing it, which is awesome. Let's let that guy go. My bibs are soiled now, Mitchell. Yeah. They Dude, are happy to see us. I literally didn't net that fish, but somehow I got so tangled in the net. It's nice, ridiculous. Nice. Oh, there we go. There we go. Fish on? Yep. Mitch, is it nice? This could be a nicer one. I'm not tangled in 360, right? No, might be a nice fish. All right, talk to me. Talk to me, boy. Well, I actually went to cast without catching one, unfortunately. Oh my gosh, I feel bad for you. I know, right? <laughs> feel bad for you. I'm coming this one, behind This one it. was like, way out there. Actually, we just flipped on 360, though, and I saw a couple fish way off the back of the boat. Yeah. Took a long cast and uh, got one. There it is. Oh, it's nice a nice fish. fish. Yeah, real, real nice fish. fish. Man, dude. I'm trying to go slow with this one. Is this fun or is this fun? Oh, Keep his... no. Did you lose him? No, oh, no, my no. gosh, dude. What he's going nuts. What's going on here? Dude, he oh just my... took off. Dude, I'm like in the prop. This is ridiculous. Oh, my gosh. How did that fish do that, I don't dude? know. Put your rod in the water. I'm trying to. That's, he's right here. Tang... here. Right here. The fish? Yep. <laughs> See it? Dude. <laughs> what Net is him. Go... Let him right Where's here. Where's he at? Right there. Dude, this ain't gonna work. You got him. Do I? Yep. You Open your bail. Yep. You want to talk about a little crazy, oop, hectic situation here? What was that? The fish just this like was wild. coming in perfectly yeah. fine, and then just went like, <laughs> just <laughs> ran away from us, didn't he? Yeah, he was actually just coming in on the surface. I spot him way back there. I shut my light off for you guys. And uh, man, that thing got wild, didn't it? Yeah, that was bizarre. My line is still tangled in the prop. We'll, we'll get that out. Just cut your line at the crazy snap. <laughs> All right, take a look at this. This is what we're after. It's been absolutely ridiculous tonight. It's been like every cast. All right, let's get it back in the water. Hopefully get a few more. How do you think this evening... Uh... I don't think there's much to say, Mitchell. I think we came out here. We got out here about right at dark, caught a few little guys on the on kind of the first little spot we spot locked on. Yep. We made one more spot lock the rest of the night and just demolished them. And it's not even late right now. I mean, it's like 10 o'clock right now. And 
I mean, just, we got on one of these shallow flats where we found fish, super gin clear water. I mean, up here during the day, it's like looking through just a, a window. I mean, it's just like, oh, yep, yeah. there's the bottom, there's the fish. Yeah. Super difficult to catch like that. Tonight, we kind of had the perfect scenario of a little bit of wind picked up and the, the, these fish got real active up here in here after dark and they were absolutely lighting crankbaits up. And <laughs> yeah. I don't know if there is a more fun bite no, to fish for walleyes, really. Absolutely not. And I mean, it was so shallow yeah. that even in the pitch darkness, I mean, with the, the moon's kind of bright tonight. The, the moon is out, yeah. I could see as I was setting the hook that these fish were flashing at the side of the boat. That's yeah. how shallow we are. Yeah, you it's see. just absolutely ridiculous. Or you turn your headlight on and you see, I mean, it's just yeah. straight to the bottom of the yeah. lake. That's how yeah. shallow a lot of these fish are. So don't be afraid to try super shallow this time of year, especially when you're in a warming trend. Now, if you're in a big time cold front, the, sh the super shallow stuff cools faster than the next depth zone. So if you're in a cooling trend where water temps are dropping, which obviously isn't ideal in the spring, these fish will kind of move out to the next little bit deeper spot. But if you have a warming trend like we've had this week, a lot of days yeah. in the 75, 80 degree temperature range even. The water temps are just skyrocketing. Those fish want to be in that warmest water post spawn and uh, they're all over up there. And oh, sometimes yeah, you yeah. can even net it two at a time. <laughs> yeah, but, it was uh, so ridiculous. It was ridiculous. But yeah. I appreciate you guys watching this one. Like I said, in the middle piece there, um, if you guys want kind of the, uh, that kind of the longer lengthy explanation of exactly the baits we're fishing, why I fish them, when I fish them, the colors I fish them, it's all in the Walleye Now app. Click Let's Go Fishing, click Early Spring or Spring, get over to Natural Lake, and that information will be right there. But I appreciate you guys watching this one. Tomorrow, Mitchell, we got a busy day. I don't know where we're filming, but we are going to be in Eau Claire yep. doing a seminar, uh, the Walleye Now seminar. And uh, yeah, super exciting. I'm um, looking forward to seeing you bunch of you know Claire. I don't know if this video is going up tomorrow or the day after the day after. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe this stuff's not even relevant, but I appreciate you guys watching. Yeah. Uh, if you guys are not yet, please subscribe. Stay tuned for more content. We'll see you next time.